Dear sweet elven nation, the pose that our Empress Alphmoramus is in right now is called boredom. Why is it set to boredom? Because that is exactly what I feel loading up this game knowing I have to play as a humble, kind character. Well, she's not kind, but she is humble and generous and calm, all of which do not suit me. You could argue that makes her kind, being generous, I suppose. I do not want to play as another calm character as long as I live. I do not want to play as another humble character as long as I live. I want to play only ambitious lunatics from this day forward. Therefore, today's episode will be the final episode where we play as Elf Moramus before we move on to our next and final character, this uh, very small 16-year-old. This is a child in, in, in body form. I don't really know what's going on. It's, a, it's an adult brain in a child's body. So I had to try and find a way to phrase that that wasn't going to put me on, you know, the standard YouTuber lists. I think you call it VidCon. But I've been assured that when she turns 20, she will revert back to, um, I say revert. She will become an adult at long last. She'll suddenly pop into adulthood. Uh, I showed Elise that and she said, oh, so it works just like Crusader Kings 2, which is a very astute point because those kids have like, Three different age eras. Anyway, uh, today, the final goal for the calm, the humble, the generous, and the terribly boring Elf Moramus is to reform the entire culture. Why would a humble character do that? I don't fucking know. Listen, I, I find them impossible to play. I just cannot countenance it in my brain because there is no part of being a feudal lord that equates to humility, in my mind, at the very least. What the hell is this? Religious patronage? I didn't do that. Oh! If I diverge the culture now that he's put that on there, will that save me the piety from having it? No. I have to wait for it to be established. That's really annoying, because that's what I was going to choose. Oh, for God's sake. I am the funniest YouTuber you will ever watch. I have given this tiny child the lady-in-waiting title. Do you, do you get the joke? Do I need to explain it? So uh, we're going to do tremendously humble things. Like, for example, go on a grand hunt and spend a small fortune for our own prestige. And we're going to do other humble things, such as throw an enormous feast. I invited only courtiers so that we could really hit the ground running today. Uh, do we want to hawk a goose, hawk a pheasant, hawk a hare? I guess we'll hawk a hare. Because, again, it's a nice, uh, humble calm character. We're going to go only after the most prestigious, dangerous game. A lucky falconry grove. Oh, a gr I thought it said grove. I was going to say, we're going to bulldoze part of the land. Glove. Ah, um, no, thank you. I don't need luck. Does it increase the hunt chance? No. Well, then it's not that fucking lucky, is it? You can keep it. So I'm hiring a new court chooser because we've got a lot of kids that need education. It turns out our current court chooser was an absolute stinky garbage. You slightly increase your hunter experience, but what happened? Uh, oh, there's no sign of any other beast nearby. Ah, oh, we gotta we gotta track it. Brilliant. Okay, good start. You've just maimed the hare. Fly true, little one. Ten percent success chance. Good luck. Here we go. Remember, we're doing this to reform the culture. I, I assure you that this very expensive, lucrative uh bird hunt is important for elven kind, I promise. Um punish the trappers. Find the trappers and cut off their heads. What the hell? That doesn't seem very... Hang on. So I execute prisoners of war. I sacrifice prisoners of war to our gods. And because we're generous, that upsets her. However, I, trappers fail. Or, or trappers try and hunt uh, animals from our woods. And executing them is fine. That doesn't upset her. This game makes absolutely no sense. We need, a, we need like a patch that just standardizes a lot of personality effects. I understand that when you've got 12 different developers working on a game, it's very hard to coordinate that many different things. But for example, like that event we had the other day where it's like, oh, there's a witch in our court. How dare they? Meanwhile, witches are counted as virtuous in our religion. Anyway, um, hey, there we go. Did we win? Everything that could go wrong seemed to do so. No, I don't believe they did. Oh, my daughter's back. She is now a full adult. Please do not comment on this. It's a bug. It's a bug and we don't need to, we don't need to address the situation. Okay. Um, here, let's go for a little bit of control growth. That seems appropriate. Right. How far are off are we? We needed 9,000 prestige, if I recall. Now, now, something we have to talk about is the Lembus Belt of the Baker. So, East Pointed, developer of the incredible Elven Destiny mod, said that the Belt of the Baker not only gives those supply duration, supply capacity, travel safety, but it does say at the bottom there in the description, which I totally missed because I was so enthralled by everything else and the shiny lights and the glowing name, that it does say, when equipped, expeditions hosted by this character continue for an extra two weeks. And that is superb because that means we have so many more chances to find our spark capacitors. And so, we equip the Lembus Belt of the Bar I'm not sure what we unequip for that. I don't know what mod is giving us all these extra inventory slots. It's very bizarre. It was a little unbalanced, but I mean, 
This isn't exactly the most balanced playthrough, has it? Hello. Um, shall we r marry off my daughter? I, I don't believe I will. No. Thank you, though. 22 months for a hunt. Nine months for a feast. Sorry, nine months for an expedition. Three years for a feast. We could go on a pilgrimage. That doesn't seem appropriate. Nine years before we can visit the burial mound. Uh, somebody said, go on a grand tour and go on a majesty tour. Hang on. You see the problem with that? We're supposed to be fucking humble. This is so bloody restrictive. How can I justify going on a majesty tour? As a humble character. Simply put, I cannot. But we have to do it. If we want to reform this culture, if we want to do something valuable here, what choice have I got, huh? Right, hold on. Let's, um... Let's plan this out in a way that will... Oh, God, this is... Okay, I've got a bit of a route in mind. It's not ideal. Let's go here, here. I want to hit the whole realm. Obviously, I want to go for the whole realm, right? We go there, we hit there, we go there. And then on the way back, we hit that one, we hit that one. Beautiful. I think that's probably the best route we're going to get there. It's not ideal, but I guess it'll do. What do we want to do then? Hosted dinner? Tour the grounds. Uh, cultural festival. What do we want to do, do you think? Jesus, this is going to cost 14,000 gold. Well, we might as well throw in a few dinners, huh? In for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah, let's go on our... Uh, tour the grounds, increasing control. Opinion with your vassal. Popular and cultural acceptance. It's easier to culturally convert places that have a higher cultural acceptance. So, uh, I mean, if we're about to... Yeah, but we're about to do a cultural... Shift anyway. Oh, but the culture will at least be close. Honestly, yeah, let's go for that. Let's throw in a few of those. Let's have a dinner with uh, Queen Eliana. Uh, and then let's throw in all of our vassals that aren't Elven. We'll go and have a, a cultural exchange. All of the ones that are Elven, we will just uh, visit, I suppose, except for the really important ones. Duke Galadrim, you are definitely Elven. Okay, there you go. So that just stops 10 out of 10, and it's going to cost us 14,000 gold. Because, oh, no, hold on. It's going to cost us... Uh, 15,569 gold because we're humble, okay? We're bloody humble. Altruism. Let oh, altruism, though. Okay, hold on. Maybe we can do an altruistic journey. Justice. Yeah, okay. Altruism it is. Okay, I'm, I'm all right with that. Cultural ambassador, superior mounts. Get me out there. Boom. I can't wait. Superior mounts is also the name of that uh, missing elven tradition that I didn't choose. Altruism, the royal touch. Shall I distribute blessed coins? Yeah, at this point, why not? She is generous after all. <laughs> I've somehow spent 17,000 gold in about two seconds. <laughs> ah, here we are. The cultural activity. Yeah, we gain 50 prestige. We lose 103 stress. Fey and Persians is increased by 2.5%. Very good. That's pretty good, given that we're... Again, I'd love to form a hybrid culture, but I don't think it's very appropriate. Signorialism. Very good. Uh, what have we got here? Diplomat seems very appropriate for going on a grand tour of the uh, entire realm. Majesty's tour success. We're already at level 1. At level 4, we get 700 prestige, 150 renown. Every uh, parochial vassal gains 40 opinion. And itinerant liege. Uh, it, it, itinerant liege. Sorry. As in, like, you follow a, 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 an itinerary, I would assume. Uh, okay, very good, yes. Uh, what's an amiable surprise? You gain the nickname, the Queen of Beauty and Noble Ass. Oh, my God. Because he admires our physicality. Oh, well, that's awesome. Great news. Acrobats jump in colorful attire. One of them opens his mouth to catch a ball, and the other one throws, and the public erupts into cheers. The music soon follows. I've heard this song before. Perhaps most of them sound too, too similar. Even from the die, I can hear the peasants loudly singing along. And in the fields of woof, 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 a figure decides to join in, stealing the juggling balls. Get that dog. I want that dog. Perfect companion for our Shanna Buffet. That's our son. Um, I must remain in place. No, give me that dog. Can I pet that dog? Yeah, I can pet that dog. That's my dog now. What are we going to call it? Amiable. I'm going to call you, um, I'm going to call you, uh, Mesopotamian, uh, Mesopotamian dog name. Oh, Sumerian dog name. Oh, let me think. Apparently, there is a howling Sumerian dog called Urdimu. That is a great name. Excellent. Did you know the first, I, uh, you know, like the, the man walks into a bar joke? I guess bar joke was a uh, Mesopotamian uh, joke about a dog. And there you are. That's real Christmas cracker trivia right there, isn't it? I'm going to forget that immediately. Uh, finally, the plague has left the realm in chaos. Uh, yeah, okay. We must spare no expense to rebuild. Boom, back in debt. Look at that. She's generous. This is actually going to undo so much stress over the... Like, like the net stress loss is actually going to make her ascend to uh, the rank of... She's going to go join Phasis. The, the apotheosis, I think is a word I used some, saw someone use to describe Phasis. I describe it as uh, letdown. There's two words. Um, may I, my sweet Maylandia? Oh, 
clapping at the rhythm of the music. Sorry, what's clapping? I don't know, but I do know that it does take us up to Majesty's Tour Level 2. Um, I make no demands. She's calm and humble. No, absolutely not. I make no demands. Uh, Duke Serapion, here we are. A, a cultural parade. Okay. Or I would rather see a cultural parade and we ignore him instead. Okay, we're going to have a chat with him. We'll pick the options that suit the character the best, even though nothing about this very situation suits the character at all. I suppose... Uh, I, I suppose, okay, you can justify it and jump through some hoops here. She's a very generous character. She wanted to spend every penny she had on touring around being altruistic. Let's ignore the fact that it's, uh, you know, she gets to go and have many feasts and enjoy festivals and stuff like that. That's not relevant. Here we are, second part of the tour. Oh, uh, good elf is no longer a hostage. She's returned to us, very good. I think we're probably going to nail this one and get up to level four, no problem. Jesus, we can give her 450 gold to reduce our stress by 236. I, I, I have years of stress debt at this point. She's never going to be stressed again. I, I think you should be able to go into negative stress. And if you do for long enough, you should live longer. It should just give you a permanent health modifier that makes you live a little bit longer, huh? Um, I make no demands. Absolutely not. And on to the next area. Oh, we're actually going to a feast at this point. Um, no, absolutely not. Leave that man to his fate. Here we go. Finally, some delicious dinner. Well, oh, and there we are. Maximum majesty tour success. Right. Time to go home then. Forget this, sack it off. <laughs> We're not even halfway there yet. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> We're almost done with this. We're almost home. This guy's come dressed for the occasion, I see. Only wearing his best. Thank you, Duke Galadream. 9,181 prestige. I think that was more or less what we needed, right? It was about 9,600. Oh, God. Uh, you Obviously, I'm not making demands of them because she's calm and she is humble, so she would not do that. Um, what is this? Survey the lands. Uh, judge the contest. Judge the contest. Yeah, okay. Wh whatever. Lower stress, of course. And now, run away home, right? Next activity phase, return home. Yeah, it says you're traveling to the Grand Tour, but I don't think we are at all. Boom. Good tour then, huh? Um, you want to marry my son to your daughter. And that will give us an alliance with... Okay, done. Easy. Easy alliance. Yeah, no, happily. Thank you. Good, good idea. 100% chance of finding an old artifact. Uh, we've found the Seal of Muhammad. Just casually in a cave. Okay, fair enough. Spark Crystal. Because I think at this point, we've got more than enough piety to ascend the whole friggin' dynasty if we wanted. Every single living elf at this point we could ascend. <laughs> uh, I just want to kick the guests out. Why is it so expensive now? 1,100? Oh, oh, late medieval era. Ah, fair enough. Very good, very sensible. Okay, uh, five days. Just making sure I'm not catching any more nine months here. We're good. We're good. Right. It's going to cost us 1,100 gold to just have an expedition. Jesus. Oh, she's still small. Oh, no. I mean, I don't mind. I think it's interesting. I think it's certainly interesting. Again, I think it will lead to some issues when and if there are, um, you know, f familial relations. I didn't need your goddamn lemba spread. Apparently, we just find it. We just tripped over a spark crystal on the way in. Brilliant. Um, oh, yeah, you can keep generous by all means. That's good. Generous, I don't mind. It's the calm and humble that's really doing me in. Uh, what are you going to choose? Knights. I will pick noble then. Uh, you're going to go for queen. I will play king. You're going to go for bandit. I will play knight. And then I play pot of greed. This allows me to draw two cards. And then apparently it just gives us development in Baghdad, actually. Um, <laughs> stand back, I will face him. Finally, some more. Oh, 500 prowess, just like that. Sorry, prestige. I meant to say prestige. You know what I meant. Um, okay, can we do that one again? I'd really like to do that one again, if you don't mind. Fool, take this. Knife to hand. Boom. It must be a bloody sharp knife to get through a stone statue like that. Uh, we can't find a second spark crystal, I guess. I I've never really considered it. I suppose we might find a second one, but I doubt that's a thing. We've only ever had one at a time, but to be fair, have I not been spending them immediately? Weird. I, I could look into it, but I almost don't want to spoil the surprise for myself. Beautiful. And now, my God, what a long, grueling task this has been. Our successor, Gemma Shelf. The Fey Radiant is about to ascend, much like we are, to the level of Celestial. Let us join together. Oh no, I've only got 25,000 prestige. Sorry, piety. Oh, she did grow. Oh, of course. So, so when the trait was removed, it would have removed her immortality. And then the new trait would have applied. But in that very brief window, it would have... At least I assume. This is a total guess. I assume that's how it worked based on uh, CK engines. See, a cru cru what is it? A claw switch engine. 
Uh, there you go. Okay, great. Perfect. She's now a full-grown adult. Honestly, as fun as it would have been to see a child conquest the remainder of the known world, again, it does come with some other issues, like marrying her off and, and you know, weirdness. It's weird, isn't it? We can immediately ascend again. And in fact, she can immediately ascend again after that. Bloody hell, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Because I want to go and play as her now. I think we're done here. So let's build our culture. Let's build our culture, and then we'll take the double ascension as well. I think that'd be kind of fun. We could wait and try and get another spark crystal. Bear in mind, we've got the lemma spread. Maybe there's quite a high chance of... Or, or not a high chance, but maybe a decent chance of getting another one immediately. Diverge the culture. We want to keep spiritual, because I think it's most appropriate. Obviously, we'll keep high elven. Um, Mesopophamian. Mesopophamia fey. I like that. And we'll keep Mesopophamian as well. Uh, what color was I going for? Like a nice sky blue. Just because it really does stand out against everything else. Elven. Martial custom is going to be equal. And then for our traditions, I was going with... Hold on. Don't let me forget. <laughs> Icon is really something, isn't it? My God. Uh, ritual. We wanted to go for... Okay, so someone made an argument. Go for Bound by the Sword. Lower monthly piety, but the Unlimited Holy Wars would be amazing for our next character. And I actually think I agree with you quite a lot. Blessing of Vana. I'm going to get rid of that because it's proven problematic for our... Um, for our religious... Uh, sorry, for, for our alliances, hasn't it? Religious patronage, I want to go for... Actually, is this something more interesting than just monthly piety? Oh, see, I'm thinking just of this character. But we need to be thinking of elven culture overall. Merciful Blindings. That's a great name for a band. Religion Blending Polygamous. Really? Uh, Sacred Hunts. See, Sacred Hunts was a bit weak. I feel like that was one of my weaker choices before. Avid Falcon is charismatic, I think it's quite appropriate. Fisherman. Don't know about that one so much. Equitable. What about Equality instead? That would be quite good. Uh, is, is there something like that? Hold on. It's Equal Inheritance. I like that. I think that's good. What was the other one I was going to swap out? Do you remember? Uh, People of the Bow, Woodland Bouncy, Beast Tamers, Fey Argras, the Always. I don't know what else I was going to swap out. Um, oh, Endless Lord. That's right. I was going to swap that one out because it was uh, lunacy. It was, just, it, was, it was only madness lies ahead, I'm sure, again, um, when it's fixed and people who have far more patience and... Uh, you know, uh, uh, tracking for that type of thing. We'll be able to manipulate it fantastically. But for us, it's somewhat confusing. Um, I don't really know what else to go for. Martial education traits are more valued. Ooh, that could be interesting. Again, I want to pick something that's relevant to the culture as a character the same faith can inherit. That's powerful. That's expensive too. Oh, I can't afford this shit. Okay, um, maybe we don't. Can I, can I like remove? Can I, can I just like remove this instead? I'm sorry, I've changed my mind. Put Endless Lord back. We can divert if we keep Endless Lord. Okay, bound by faith, bound by the sword. That's fun. All in elves for elves. That's weird. It's weird. It's fun. I think I like it. Okay, and we've got equal inheritance too. So it's it's got a lot of religion basis, but it's also setting up our next character nicely as well. It shows respect and reverence to all of the very powerful female characters that have come before. Did I go for equality too? Hold on, bad by faith. Uh, oh no, that was the one I couldn't get because it was too expensive, right? Um, yeah, I, I think that's good. I think this works out quite well. Respect to faces, respect for our current character, respect for the next one. Boom. Get that culture diverged. Beautiful. We've also changed a chapter in our life. That's interesting. Small changes in dialect, slightly different customs. It was easy to miss at first, but over time, changes have led to large ones. And now, the fame living in Mesopophamia have begun to identify as Mesopophamian instead. With their outlook towards life fundamentally unchanged, the differences between Mesopotamia, Fey, and Fey seem more political than anything else. But the fact remains, divisions of tradition, policy, and borders have transformed one group into a people of two. With the Mesopophamian people now looking for guidance, it's time to set the stage for our shared future. And, perhaps more importantly, what have we converted here is a better question. Let's have a look at cultural conversion. So we've got a strong Mesopophamian core, which I love to see. What about our promote culture? Right, okay. So in CK2, the way it works is when you spread a culture of your uh, with your counselor, it'll spread with whatever the counselor's culture is. That sounded like a tongue twister, and that's because it was. So, um, I think we want to put you on a cis ruler too. Maybe increase with stewardship or, or diplomacy. One or the other. Good luck is all I'm going to say to her. Yeah, really good luck with that. And then, um, maybe we do hold off for another expedition before we dive into our next character trying to send her again. It almost seems a shame not spending this 25,000 piety when we bloody spent so long accruing it. Shit, maybe we will just hold off. Let's not bother with another hunt. Maybe we'll just kill time. 
let's let's at least have a feast and let's name uh Gemma Shelf as our honorary guest of honor. <laughs> a little bit redundant. Uh where is she? Elf Moramus, Gemma, Gemma, Gemma Shelf. Gemma Shelf. There she is. You can be honorary guest. And then let's go for um maybe a befriend. Try and befriend someone. Your father. Ah. Orophine. The man who was skipped. I think that's pretty appropriate. Let's have a nice, humble feast with lots of dishes and lots of culinary art pieces. It's not very humble to have such a grand and ridiculous and uh, I... What's the word I'm looking for? Lavish feast in the first place. I fucked up, didn't I? We've got to break that betrothal. We've got to ba break that betrothal. If I marry a Shanabfei, we do not have a five bloodline husband. For Gemma Shelf. These are these are the only two continuing bloodline. Because we've had the blessing of Vana and the blessing of the other fella, the Jolly Green Giant, for so long. We had loads of sons, which we couldn't marry to daughters, and then we've had loads of daughters that we can't marry to sons. These two, I mean, if he dies now, that's it. We lose all, all five bloodlines. It's gone. It's back to back to well, not back to square one, of course, but certainly a massive step back. So with the remainder of today, then, with the remainder of this character's life, however that long that is, or until we spend all of our piety, our goal is simply to spend all the piety upgrading Gemma Shelf as much as possible. So we are diving in with the most overpowered, ridiculous, crazy character. We'll give her a duchy, and we will set her off on her own path. We'll just say, go for a go and conquest. Point her in the direction of people we wish to see conquered for elven kind, because ultimately this has been a culture of uh, xenophobia the entire way down, right? That was it from, from day one one that elven superiority uh precept that we were chosen so there are there are horrible people they really are just terrible awful people oh the whole squad's here he looks like the uh he looks like prince what's his name aaron from a amon from uh house of the dragon uh, you know from like the song of ice and fire books as well but i mean he specifically looks like the one from the tv show right very bizarre actually this has got big house of the dragon edge hasn't it duke Faloran. there's gemma shelf there's orophim the man who was skipped over Right here, ready to feast alongside his betters, his superiors. My god, they do look like copy and paste again, don't they? Jesus. Sorry, I should say faces. I mean, it does look like bloody faces. Hello. Uh, speaking of your sis, your horrible, tiny, little, stunted child sister. Ugh. <laughs> I almost want to make her my heir so that we can grow her, but uh, uh, repeat what you said. Really think about it. Yeah, you should make some... Uh... Oh, did she just grow? Wait, what happened? Oh, sorry, that was your other daughter. Sorry, yes, my mistake. It's very hard to keep up with it, with them changing so so rapidly as our other daughter did. Hello! Um, Cor King Orophim does not like my food, but we're humble, so we're going to say, yes, it was a poor choice, wasn't it? He, he would like to form a friendship with us. Well, that'd be good. Bring the family together. We're never going to go through that kind of Elrong, El El Elrong, Schmeagelf era again. Too many good elves died during that era, so we're going to make sure that we're... I think we are well safe. Ever since ever since Wrath of Tharty, that's kind of been smoothed over, hasn't it? And now, oh, we've learned that she has a lover. Oh, I don't want to learn that. I don't want to learn that. I really don't want to don't even allow that thought to even permeate into my brain. No, thank you. I'm okay. Please don't ever mention it again. Um, distract the distract the guests. Yeah, go on, get get the men off the hook. Okay, and now it's the banquet time. God. Uh, toast to Gemma Shelf. Absolutely. 150 prestige for her off the bat is always quite nice. And we are done. Very good. Good feast. Failed our, our attempt to befriend, but you know what? We gave it a good, honest go. I don't know how she felt it. She got 71 fucking diplomacy. Praetorian Guard, monthly prestige per night. Well, that would have been good to get uh, about four or five episodes ago. You've become a witch. Congratulations. Why don't we grab her a duchy then fast to uh, launch out of it? Again, I like the idea of going on to this island over here. That's probably about the right play. Is that independent? Oh, there's an independent kingdom of Lanka. I feel like she would get absolutely steamrolled. Oh my god, I can't just give her a county, two counties, and say good luck, enjoy your life. I should maybe try and take the whole thing. Maybe we go do a few wars over here. Was that seven thousand? Okay, let's try and maybe take. Let's take. Let's take the the Dijon Kingdom down here, which is which is what exactly? I presume it. Well, I was gonna say I presume it is Lanka. What is this though? Is that Dijon drifted into another kingdom? Oh. What a mess. Okay, I mean, we could do that, and that would be a good stepping stone to, to conquest. It's too far away to interact with. Really? Wow. Okay. Um, right, so I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I'll go back to the original player then. That's fine. Holy War for Duchy, for Kingdom. We might as well say for Kingdom. Why the hell not? Kingdom of Gujarat. Yes. Oh. 
Only 10 one Holy War against Stub Kingdom tier title per lifetime. Oh, we, uh, no, yeah, but that's not true, though, anymore, is it? That's not true anymore. For the first time ever, I am dividing my forces. I mean, I'm not dividing them equally. I've sent 122,000 in one direction and then like 15,000 in the other, but that's not the point, okay? It's not the point. We sent one to the capital, one to the war goal. We're going to be golden. This is going to be an easy, easy war. Are they embarking? Why? Where are you going to go? <laughs> where, are you, where are you heading to? Someone's trying to murder her. What the hell? It's good if I internalize that before I totally ignored it. Uh, yeah, disrupt schemes, please. Bro, you got 45 intrigue. You should know everything that's happening at all times. A pin could drop on the other side of the world and I should be notified about it. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, that'll do it, I suppose. We've only just started. Oh, that's good. Well done, Scott. Disband all. Boom. And there is a gift for our lovely new ruler of the world. Although I am only giving her a duchy. I might have to, like, give her some troops as well. I don't think I can do that. We go to war with Karnata. Maybe we could get her a kingdom just to kick things off. Because we basically, the kingdom of Gujarat isn't enormous, if if memory serves. Yeah, see, it's not, it's not enormous at all. We own six of... Oh, there's three. We own... Sorry, how the fuck does that work? Sorry, what the hell? 50% of Dijon counties are six. We own three. Oh, so we've only got to take this part. Okay, yeah, no, let's just, let's just go to war. We don't have a Casas Belli. What the hell do you mean? My Casas Belli is, I want this island. There's my, there's my fucking Cassus Belli right there. Do you think when they raised their troops here, they expected to see uh, 150,000 coming towards them? Probably not, huh? Probably not. <laughs> oh, virtuoso arbitrator. Oh, you beautiful boy. Hey, that's a good marriage, I think. You know what? We will have a grand wedding for them to celebrate our success here. Oh, no. I think we just killed every single one of them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, let's be clear. We're not just going to drop a kingdom on her. She has to still earn her way there so she can lead the armies that get herself a kingdom. I think that's more than a fair trade. But honestly, sometimes the plays from the AI it really is just on a whole other level. They took a boat over to my territory, got bored, and are now immediately walking back to the territory that they left originally. It really is just a superb play. Um, 900 gold to plant some flowers to stop bad air. That seems like a good deal. We should probably give away a little bit of land too, because we're, we're slightly slightly over... Oh, I was about to say over-encumbered. That's not the right word. Strange, you claim to want to keep this... Oh. My lady in waiting has given birth to a child. Good for the child. Uh, you claim to want to keep this island, and yet everybody you send over here seems to be dying. <laughs> oh, we didn't actually kill that many. Who's their leader? The... Oh. Ha. Huh. I'm actually surprised we didn't kill more than that. Impressive. Ah, and with that, we are done. Um, yes, local fashions, because we are very humble. Today has been a very humble episode as I conquest my 10th kingdom. Beautiful. And now we can actually make the, the kingdom of Gujarat, right? Yeah, there you go. All of that is going to be the kickoff point for... Uh, we're going to make it independent, too. Dangerous, I know. But it will make it independent. Of course, we'll be allied to Mesopotamia, so we can... Because um, our next character will be married to uh, the Empress's son i.e. our brother, so we will be allied, and as a result, we can then uh, we, can, we can then launch our campaign and not really have to worry about much of a counterattack. Just play it safe and play it low to the ground. You know, actually focus on our territory for a change. It's going to be just a nice little secluded island over here. I think it's going to be quite cozy. So, speaking of cozy, what could be more cozy than gaining the powers of the gods themselves? Let's become... Uh, I was going to say an ascended celestial. I don't know what... What was it that came after celestial? Faces had it before she... Um, tragically died. Why does he keep putting me on this map mode? Fuck off. You're waiting on activity. Guess I the hell I am. Uh, what? Arrived. Eight months until it begins? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? What do you mean? Seven months until it begins. Everyone's here. We're on activity, yes. Oh, is that just the people over here? Oh, is that not show the people we're waiting on? Oh. No. I think this may just be a bug this time. Oh, well, that's good, because I did say only courtiers. Show me. Come on. Spark crystal. Come on. You know you want to do it. it. It gives us so much time. So There it is. We've got one. We've got another spark crystal. Oh, my God. Finally. Uh, but also another danger. I, again, I don't believe you can get two spark crystals, right? I, I mean, I would love it if we did, but I don't think it's mechanically possible. Otherwise, you could just sit and stop on them and pass them down generation on generation. I wouldn't allow it anyway. Maybe that's because I'm a tremendously cruel person. 
<laughs> Hello. Um, I do not want to make him angry. No, absolutely not. Okay, then. Uh, Ritual of Ascension. Please, by all means, let's join together. We've lost the trait Celestial. We've gained the traits Seraphic Celestial. My God. Holy shit. Elves that have reached a near angelic state of being. What the hell is above even that then, huh? Seraphic Celestial. How are you doing? You're a regular Celestial. I mean, honestly, a big Galadriel energy going on right now. I like this. This is good. This is good. This is very powerful stuff. Wow, eh? And it, I mean, if we could find one more, we could ascend again. I, d I don't know. Are we allowed to ascend again? We are allowed to ascend again. Holy shit. So my final rule will be we shall do one last expedition. Regardless of whether or not we get that spark crystal or not, that, that's it. This will be the final one if we're able to ascend once more before we jump into our final character. Awesome. Perfect. If not... That gives her something to do in her next life. You know, we just drew the short straw. I, I'm, I've got to put a hard limit. Otherwise, we could just sit here forever ascending, 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 right? While we wait then, I think it is only appropriate that we have a grand marriage between Gemma Shelf and her brother. <laughs> what was his name again? I gave him something wrong. Oh, Shanabthe. That's right. Oh, um, Shanabthe. You know what? I'll just sort by bloodlines. It's probably a little bit quicker. Grand marriage, matrilineal marriage. Interestingly, the only character that has those four bloodlines at least. So that's that's reassuring. Send proposal. Boom. There could still be other characters, of course, with five. No, no, there actually can't. There are no other characters with five bloodlines other than him and her then. Oh, that's frightening. Or no other male, obviously, characters with five bloodlines. Terrifying. Absolutely frightening. There could obviously be another combination of four bloodlines. Three other combinations of four bloodlines. Are you all right, uh, Uridimu? Uri Oh no, my dog. My dog has attacked this man. When are we having this grand wedding? Let's just have it immediately. Why the hell not? What we wait for the what we wait for the cool and a bloody wedding. I killed them all in a strange, bizarre plot twist. Um, it's your capital. It's a holy site of your faith. Absolutely, it is. We're going to be very humble and calm about this. So naturally, I'm going to bankrupt the realm. Uh, getting as many people here as possible. Murder, seduce, recreation, spread legend, espouse legitimacy, spread legend. Yeah, let's spread spread our legend. That seems good. And it's put me on realms map. Why, why does he keep doing this? He's put me on cultural map mode. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> A tiny haunted child has arrived. Oh my god. She's so bizarre. She's so strange. The spells is Gemma Shelf and Arshanabfe. Both are here looking radiant in their best attire. I can't wait. Here we go. A grand wedding. This is going to be the greatest moment because their wedding gift is a kingdom, which is a hell of a wedding gift. You've got to admit, I'm just so proud. Or aren't you jealous? Now, I'm not going to make her our nemesis. We're just going to talk about the, the glory of our house, how proud we are of what we've achieved, what we've done here. Uh, between, of course, Elf Moramis and her mother, we've reformed the religion and reformed the culture. Arguably, they did it in the wrong order, didn't they? I feel like Faces should have been the one reforming the culture, given that she was the one that broke her tradition of male characters. And then it should have been Elf Moramis that reformed the religion, given that she's the one who has an absolute uh, powerhouse of piety behind her. The ceremony has reached its climax, as both Gemma Shelf and Oceanabfe Oceanab say, I do. The crowd starts cheering. Really glad I haven't got to say that name too frequently for the next character, huh? Ooh, you and King Orophim bonded over dinner. Very good. Um, sneak off so we can talk. We'll joy to have Calandra in here with me. Elf Llama, come join us. Come join us. Bring the whole family together. Yes, all the children must speak and chat. Gets along with you and Calendra splendidly. Very good. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Made another friend. This is so good. All the generations of the family coming together. The copy and pasted generations. August. I suppose she did just win a fairly sizable victory. So that'll do it. Why not? We'll take that. How long until it's over? 22 days. You're engaged in the wedding night. I certainly hope not. I mean, it, for this dynasty, that wouldn't be that much of a shocker, to be honest with you. I'm going to grow closer to forming a friendship there. And as soon as it's over, I'll give them the kingdom. Uh, and then we'll... No, hang on. Let's do the ascension first. Then we'll give them the kingdom. Just in case uh, it has any sort of effect whatsoever. I don't want to risk that. Oh. Then just like that, it's over. Well, I'll take that, I suppose. Expedition. Let's get going. Um, hello. No laughing matter. That is no laughing matter. You're right. Minus 169 stress. Nice. Okay. Here we are. The final expedition. Let me just double check here. I'm only going to limit it to our courtiers again. Three days. Now, confirm with your eye. What, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, my God, because she's in another court. 
Because she's probably off being educated. She's educa being educated in the bloody uh, Eleanor Order, right? Okay. Well, then if we just invite these people. Oh, well, that's a bit silly. <laughs> okay, so we just invite those people. We can dodge it entirely. Let's put it back on fucking cultural map mode. I don't give a shit about the cultural map mode. Come on, what kind of wedding gift is uh, a kingdom when there's a much better wedding gift of ascending to be a uh, semi-mythical figure? Well, I guess maybe they already are semi-mythical figures. They might already count, I suppose. Uh, just how we do it in the Legends. Throw some coins at him. Stab him with a dagger. Brilliant. It's, it's the classic way to deal with a stone statue in your garden. Did you say you got like a tacky massive stone statue you want to get rid of? Maybe a little bit rotten at this point. Stab it with a dagger. Oh, God. It's the Jolly Green Giant again. Nope. No, thank you, Vanna. Sorry. You disappoint me, mortal. Return here when good senses return to you. I, I've got good senses. It's me wanting alliances. Come on. Show me the crystal, please. Sadly, my friends, we're here at the end of the line. Seven days until it ends, and we did not find a bloody thing. So then, without further ado, I've achieved everything I wanted to achieve with this character. Which wasn't a huge amount, because that's very humble of me to say that. You know, to have lower ambitions and to be... Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to move on from her. <laughs> so, little... Where is she? Uh, so, they all look the same. Uh, Gemma Shelf. My friend, it's your time to shine. Our martial character, our final character, will be leading the charge across the East and bringing the Elven Nation maybe to the other side of the globe. Who knows where we go from here, huh? Let's go ahead and grant her the Kingdom Tier title. And then let's go ahead and grant her independence without unpausing so much of a thing. Oh, she cannot be given a title she does not stand to inherit. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> you shitbag. <laughs> Confederate partition? That's not right. I think you mean primogeniture. Right, like I was saying, uh, Gemma Shelf, this is for you, my friend, the kingdom of Gurjara and all of its subsequent duchies and domains. There you are. That is all for you. Then we grant her independence. And I am allowed to do that. Boom. It's going to be the smoothest succession for sure. She is now the independent ruler. And then we shall name uh, in her stead Elf Moramis as successor to uh, Mesopofami Elf. So uh, declare as heir. Sure. Actually, we can just designate as heir. We don't need to. Yeah, much better. And there you are. The realm is divided, but the realm is... Well, the realm is not divided. The realm is actually less divided than it ever would have been. The realm is safe. No more partition. We have all of it going to the princess of fashion. A good diplomat, a good steward, a good person to simply lead the realm, right? Uh, even though she is a very, very tiny person. Tomorrow, we shall swap over to a character I'm going to turn into an unstoppable killing machine. The ambitious, the diligent, the paranoid, but calm calculated, analytic Zella, as it says up there. We are going to very slowly whittle down our enemies and the people that we consider... I mean, I, I mean, zealous and diligent is a mighty combo. Zealous and paranoid is a mighty combo. Distrustful of everybody who is not your religion and will work hard to root them out. Would work hard, but in a collected and calculated fashion. Quite a dark character, I think. They really are just bloody clones, aren't they? Look at that. They are, they are identical. It'd be so interesting to compare the DNA and see how they come out. Thank you all for joining me. I cannot wait to dive into this character, do a lot of warfare, follow her ambitious ways, have a bit of drive behind a character, do some tournaments too. Of course, she's got that martial education, so there's no reason we wouldn't pursue that at any cost. I think this is going to be a very necessary breath of fresh air and a really fun way to end the series with uh, with that that sapphiric celestial warrior lady. Terrifying, the, the, the eastern part of the remaining human realms. Thank you, of course, to our East Pointed developer of Elven Destiny. I had a lot of fun with Elven Destiny. Could play it for a lot longer, but, you know, I like to, like to shake things up on, on occasion. Gotta, gotta move on. There's so many other mods to see. And if I play this for the next year, CK4 will be out before we know it. Thank you to Facundo Vasquez, Buck Snadger, Sleepy257, Dust, Super the Tuba, Biblically accurate toothpick, Bryce, the cat lover 366, lucrative super cucumber, Solothol, don't mention it, Solothol, Scott Layton, Cuddles, Bottom of the Swamp, Methanius, Dietz, Zarko Yanev, Snathro, Gazus, Harpio, Frozen Solid, Cryo 121, Iguanodome, Brassy Swine, and Andrew Robichaud for their support. The executive producer stays over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. Over on the Elise and Sam channel, we have some Oblivion going up more or less daily, depending on how much free time, of course, I get, which is 
Um, not none anymore, because I'm using it to record record uh, an hour's worth of oblivion every day or about 30 to 40 minutes worth of oblivion every day anyway thank you as well to callum james story allegius reaber technomen08 joe herman Horgol, ranker liam smith negakure and ethel red the undeady see you tomorrow